She's still okay. Oh, well, mom? Yeah. I guess so. She seems to be. She changed her thing out. Know, everything's fine. It's like... It stays that way. What the fuck is this shit? No, no, you must have hit something. Need to work. Shit. Hello! Greetings! Oh, right. This one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Four by three. <sighs> Kodelka. I think we're still on disc two. Which is weird, right? Yeah, like, we got through disc one real fast. We really did. Is that what that said? I wasn't looking. I haven't really paid attention any time it's launched. Sacknoth? Is that the name of the developer? Okay, so... We're in like a whole new area. So last time we spent an inordinate amount of time... Uh walking in circles because uh -huh. there was one spot on a corner of a staircase that I didn't inspect to yeah. unlock the next <laughs> part of the puzzle but we got that figured out and we got a huge chunk of those items that, out that were clogging our inventory because we couldn't figure out any of the puzzles yeah I think it was the statues yeah it was the statues and the stained and, glass and the stained glass so we still have all of that jewelry that's supposed to go on a statue somewhere uh huh did um, we get the statues out of our inventory? Or did we, we got, just see where they go? No, we got the statues out because you had to put them in a door to unlock a door. Okay. Uh, so we got those sorted. And we fought another boss and beat it. And now we have we, we still don't have the second doll. So yeah. there's a, a room in the basement that's guarded by the spirit of uh, two twin girls. And they want their dolls to let you through or to fight or something. Yeah, because, like, you can fight them, but you can't do any you can't damage, do any damage to, them. to them. So, I have one of the dolls, but I haven't found the other yet. But we've progressed into this area now. So we had to find a stone plate and use it on a printing press to print a map of this area, which is like a church. Uh-huh. And now we're actually in the area. Um, yeah, like, didn't using the press break a wall? Yeah, it that did that too, which led to, like, some more puzzles. And then you had to, like, open the wall behind a clock. There was a lot of stuff that happened in, like, uh -huh. the last, like, 45 minutes of the stream last time. Yeah, and Kodelka had one of her psychic visions. Yeah, yeah. Um, Like, some actual plot got revealed, I guess, because it was, like... Uh, 
oh yeah, we know why James is here now. Yeah, so like, Kodelka was drawn here by a psychic vision. Um, and as far as we can tell, Edward is just a treasure hunter. Yeah. But James revealed that he's here looking for a document that was stolen from the Vatican. Uh-huh. He was sent by the Vatican sent, on a mission from God. He's on a mission from God. He is like the Blues Brothers. Okay. So, we are, I guess on that X... You're in that room, at least. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Alright, so we still have... The necklace, the earring, the ring. We have Daniel's arm, yeah, which yeah. is a puzzle piece. We have Valna's doll, which is one of the two dolls. We have a mask, a disc, and an icon. Oh, we have the crown, too. So we have icon's crown, ring, earring, and necklace. And then we have a disc, a mask, and Daniel's arm. We don't know what any of those things do. We do know what the doll does, but we don't have the companion to the doll yet. Uh... So I guess we're just good to go, though. And I saved a walkthrough in case something like that happens again. I know, like, I just, I hate to use a walkthrough, but, like, I just could not figure out what to do. And, like, I don't know how you would know what to do. Because that was not a very apparent thing to inspect. It wasn't even close to the puzzle. I mean, the other part wasn't close to the puzzle, but it was a big piece in an otherwise empty room, so you were drawn to it. Was that evil vines? Evil vines. You can see the interior room through the crack in the wall. It looks like a church of some kind. However, an unusual plant blocks you from going further. So let's get some context of where that is. So I'm assuming that's... One of the walls that doesn't have a door? I don't know. I mean, that would make it... Yeah. This cur Like that curved room we would be looking into? Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I guess so, because we've been in all the rooms with the check marks, haven't we? think so. I think that's how this map works. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we need to go north, it looks like. Some howling fucking wind going on. In the game, not here for once. Not yet. Not yet. So we just came through that door there, right? Yeah, you were standing there when we loaded in. So I came through there. Yeah, so that would make sense. Okay. Well, okay, so, so where do I want to go from here? I guess the opposite direction, which is this way. There should be a door over here. What the? What's that bell? <laughs> Just the passing of another day. Oh no! Today's All Saints Day. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what happens on All Saints Day? The energy orbs appear. The spiritual energy is coming together. Yeah, the fucking. Spiritual singularities just appear from the ether on All Saints Day. A monster. Oh shit. This 
the devil man. That was the fucking devil lady, I believe. I think it had titties. What? What's happening? That would be Lady Devil Man. I'm sorry. Or Dev like, it's see. Devil Man Lady. It's something weird like that. Like it's still Devil Man, but it has Lady added to I it. I think it's Lady Devil Man. Okay. No! Kudalka! I've seen this anime before. Look at its face. Looking like Willem Dafoe and shit. I don't want to fight this thing by Cadel with Cadelka alone. Why are you gonna do this to me? This is some bullshit. Okay. Let Let's try me Megalith. Hasn't Megalith worked on flying enemies very well before? Uh, maybe? It's just I don't know if it's totally magic resistant or what. Maybe. I mean, maybe I should just equip a weapon. Equip a gun, you know? Yeah. Could equip the Dark Knuckles. Alright. I mean, maybe she's just supposed to die. I don't know what's happening because he's not doing anything. That's probably supposed to make you very nervous. I mean, it is making me very nervous. So that usually means it gets one awful attack or it gets a ton all at once. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting it at point-blank range. It's not doing anything. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just supposed to run away. punched me. It was kind of anticlimactic. I mean, it did take half your health. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I mean, it's just absolutely doing nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to just make it so many turns in, you know? happens in RPGs sometimes. They put you in unwinnable battles. <laughs> I ran away. She got away. Okay. The fuck is that shit? Are you still by yourself? Yeah, I would assume so. I think we're outside now. I think we're go. I think I'm I'm where I was trying to get to anyway. It's just I'm only Kodoka now. It, yeah. So. You might want to heal yourself a little bit. Yeah, it'd probably be good, right? Um. Let's go ahead and use a listal too, in case we run into another fight, because our magic is already at half. Okay. 
Please insert disc three. Yeah. I think you have to do this a certain way. Hang on. But I can't remember how to do it. Hang on. Disc control. Disc control. Don't forget to save state. Yeah. Okay. So we have saved on disk three. So I'm assuming that means we are at least past the halfway point of Kodelka. If I should just try to run from everything, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see how well I do here. Yeah, you can save, so if you're gonna find out, yeah. I guess now would be a good, a a good time. Like, I have this really souped up fire spell, but it didn't actually kill that thing in one hit, so that's... Maybe not great. Have we seen that enemy before? Which one? The blue one? Uh, I don't think so. It looks like a big bat or something. Chili bat. Chili because it's cold? Yeah. Then you see it shivering? Yeah, it was pretty twitchy. Let's see. Do that 35. Do this, this. I feel like I should maybe switch her back to a better weapon that's going to boost her stats a little more. Yeah, it might be a good idea to give her something that lets her HP get a little higher. The bow gun is actually the only thing that doesn't detract from anything else. This air badge is actually a little better than what she had, so... Okay. We're in decent shape, I think. Hey, here's a statue. You see a statue of a woman. That's two women. Do you want to attach the icon's earring? Yes. So it must be different statues for each item, I guess. Can you examine it from any other angle or? No, I don't think so. I'm assuming there are multiple statues in this garden area, yeah. See a statue of a woman. Attach the ring, yes.
Attach the necklace, yes. Stairs, Kodelka. All right, so there's going to be one more statue probably up here or something. I don't really understand the geometry of this area, to be honest with you. Forward here. We had French toast. Yeah. It's pretty tasty. Did you work on anything today? Uh. Not particular. Trying to uh, learn how to paint crystals. You can see a door under the water. Watching a lot of, like I said, plant shopping videos recently. Like people like shopping around for plants. Yeah, like going to greenhouses and nurseries and shit. And I watched one, it may have been yesterday, where uh, it's, uh, the person found an eight inch hanging planter. So that's not very big, it's pretty standard size of uh, Philodendron Brazil, which is that guy that I've had over there for years. Like, uh -huh. it's a very common, very easy to grow Philodendron. Forty fucking dollars. Why? I don't know. There was one next to it, which was a fi uh, Philodendron uh, Meekins, uh -huh. which is a little rarer. It's one I want, but they wanted eighty dollars. Shit, why are you not propagating this for, for profit? I don't have one of those. I want one of those. Well, shit, like... 40 bucks a pop isn't bad. <laughs> Cut, get some get some trimmings off of that guy and propagate it. I do. I, I have a whole nother plant. We'll sell that bitch. <laughs> I saw a $250 philodendron on a website the other day. Why is it $250? Because they're just super rare. There's one specific one that's real popular right now called the Philodendron Florida Ghost. What does it look like? Uh, it's... Let me get a picture, because it does not look like uh, any Philodendron I have. Like, it has these weird shaped leaves. I think in that same video, uh, they were also going around... Uh, past some Monstera that were like, I don't know how old, older than mine because they had way more fenestrations, but it was $95 they wanted. Jesus. I mean, is some of that like paying for the condition that you're getting them in because like you yeah know, if you we, go to like walmart yeah. not that they're gonna have most of those anyway but you know the plants you get there are not in the best shape i mean it's one of those things where if you ask me personally if you know what you're doing you know you could just get 
the shit. No, I understand. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know, you could buy a plant that's in bad health and and nurse it to good health, right? Yeah, if you know what you're doing. But like, maybe some people just want to buy a plant that's already in good health because it's got a better chance of surviving with yeah. them. Yeah, this is what a uh, Florida ghost philodendron looks like. Oh wow. Yeah, like there are philodendrons that have weird leaves like that. This statue is holding the holy sword, Sacknoth. Oh, word? Yeah, uh, it looks like, um, uh, what is the sword you get from Calamite called? Calamite, is it just Calamite Greatsword? Possibly, I can't remember. Or, no, it's the Obsidian Greatsword. Mm. But yeah, it's the, the sword you get when you cut his tail. Alright. I can't take the sword from the statue, so I guess I will eat grass. Did you have to edit trigger fire again? Um, I, maybe. Why? What's wrong? The size scaled up again for some reason. Did you do that? No. Okay. Just making sure before I switch. Oh, back. it's because we never fixed it on the 4x3, probably. Oh. Well, it should be the same. No, I don't think so. I think when you make a new instance, it doesn't always carry over when you change the other one. Well, it's fixed now. I can't... I can't find this other statue. I don't know what's happening. What kind of plants did you get the other day? Remind me again. Oh, I got a Bird of Paradise and a uh, Hoya Crimson Princess. Hoya Crimson Princess. I'm thinking if I can get my hands on it for not too much money, I might transplant the Bird of Paradise into Lekka, which is semi hydroponics. Into what? Uh, Lekka. It's, uh,. I can't remember what it stands for, but it's clay pebbles. Oh, okay. It's like instead of soil altogether. Yeah. Because a lot of people said that when you can't meet its light requirements, like it makes it grow still because it's getting all the water it needs. Right. I mean, is that is that guy not going to go outside? I mean, he will sometimes, but I mean, during the winter and like when we have storms that knock everything over. I gotta bring them inside. And it's just easier sometimes when yeah. it's a more finicky plant like that. Right, right, right. Then it can just use whatever water it needs. It doesn't have to wait around for you to figure out something's wrong. I don't know where to go. So what have you gotten rid of? You got rid of the earring, the ring, the necklace. Okay, yeah, I gotta get rid of the crown. So, are each of those check marks you think one of the statues? Um, or are they these a, circles? The circles are the statues. Okay. So each of them is an area that the statue's in, yeah. So like, but like one of them is the one with the sword, and you can't put anything on. Yeah, the like you know, like the the items you don't have to activate the items in your inventory; they just activate if you have the right one. Mm -hmm. So, so I can't go back because that door is is blocked. Mm -hmm. Uh, back to that big uh, square room with the X, right? Yeah. Um, 
the three statue, the two statues on the northern side, I've put the um, the items on, and the one statue on the southwestern side, I've put this, the item on. The statue on the southeastern side is the one with the sword. Um, the door in the middle there, the green door, uh-huh. is uh, is behind a waterfall. So I, I think maybe the statue puzzle is going to unlock that. What's that door in the middle of this? Area? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my bad. Like, I can see a door, but it won't let okay. me access like, it. Like, there's a door between those northern Oh, statues. there is. I bet that's where I need to go. I have not been there. Well, I mean, like you, I would have assumed that all the statues would have been out here. Hello, Colin. What up, Colin? This fountain is like holy water, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. So if you go through the healing process at least, it will or the saving process, it will heal you. If I'm not mistaken. Restore your magic. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's go back here. How is you? How am I? I'm okay. Just work today. Oh, there's items here. At a high potion. <laughs> high potion. <laughs> yeah, that's just wine. It's just wine, bro. Kadelka needs her high potion. Yeah, there's a door right here. It's been locked from the other side. It can't be opened from here. Is that not a door? Oh, that's, that's a window. window, yeah. Well, son of a bitch, Kodelka, what do you what do you want me to do here? How are you, Coffin? Has had a really good interview for an internship today, but is also waiting on tapes to ship. Blank tapes. Oh. So. Well, good luck on the interview. Good and bad today. Yeah. Good luck on that interview. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll do good. Well, I mean, I know you had the interview, but good luck on hearing back from it is what I mean. Let me inspect this door one more time. You can see a door under the water. Kodelka doesn't want to get her hair wet. Right. Yeah. And like there's another door on the eastern side here, but it's also closed and locked up and she won't she she says it's forget what she says. Let me go back to it. I mean, yeah, I would have to assume the statue's out here somewhere. It's not, though, that I can tell. I think there's just this fountain, which is a safe spot.
Can you just leave? <laughs> what do you mean? Is this not a path out? No. It goes to this door. Ah. Which is inaccessible. Hey, look at this uh -oh. guy. This guy's new. He's big. He's only got one leg. It's true. He's cool looking. Yeah, all of the enemy designs in this are very he's, unique. He's super wanky. Here, whack the shit out yeah. of me. Oh, hey, Tirith. This is the main gate of the monastery. Unfortunately, it's locked. It cannot be opened. Um, when you come back towards the camera, it's probably just a little. It's probably not one of the uh, statues that you need. But there's this thing here. This thing. Yeah, I don't think you can look at that. Okay. It's like, it's it's in like a fountain, but it's just like some abstract thing. It's like, I'm, I feel like I should be able to put the crown on this thing, but I can't. Oh my god, the f mm, these fucking fixed camera <laughs> angles in this part. Look at this! Yeah, I know. Believe me, I used to play Final Fantasy X. Oh my god. What do you want me to do? I didn't have this much trouble getting... Oh my god! Colin is asking if we think it would be safe for him to use art for something he wants to release since the artist is dead. Uh, I mean, that's not how copyright works. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on what the art is. Like, like how dead are we talking? Oh, are you working, Tirith? I assume Tirith, you're working. Tirith said Twitch is actually working for once. I'm not sure what particular problem Twitch is given, usually. Colin says 98. Like they died in 1998? They died 98. when they were 98? They're 98 dead. They died in 1898, 1798? 98 years ago? I mean, I, I contend that, you know, old ass art is, you know, it's, it's sort of a hallmark of, uh, fucking, you know, independent releases like that, but I would always source commissioned art when you can. It's just a matter of like what you can do, I guess. Tira says usually Twitch buffers every 20 seconds, but it seems to be working tonight. Well, that's good. Yeah, that sucks. So speaking of Twitch, Tira, <laughs> um, I was in Ariana's stream earlier today while I was working. She was playing Dark Souls like she does. Um, and, uh... <laughs> Greg popped in. <laughs> and I may have said... Oh, no. <laughs> I may have said, Hey, Greg, is the Greg not gurgling today? <laughs> and poor Ariana's going, like, squinting at her, at, her, at her phone or whatever she's reading chat on, and going, Is the Greg not gurgling? <laughs> And then I made her old chat mad because they started talking about how in America we have grape jam. And I was like, look, I'm not about to uh, defend grape jam because I think it's gross. But y'all motherfuckers put beans on bread and call it <laughs> breakfast. 
and everybody got really mad. So I'm probably banned from Ariana's chat for multiple discretions. <laughs> Glad she's back to streaming. She hasn't streamed in a while, has she? Uh, I, I haven't noticed it, but it's like, I also don't have a chance to catch people a lot of the time, but I've kind of made it a point to try to jump into some people's streams this week. Like, I hung out with, well, I hung out with TJ last week, I guess, but. It's just, I see notifications all the time, but most of the time I just go, I don't, I don't have the willpower. Yeah. <laughs> Even I mean, though I'm doing nothing. That's my problem, too, a lot of the time, is I, I don't have the... Tirith wants to know if they were actually mad. Well, I mean, Ariana was not mad, to my knowledge, and, I mean, I don't I don't think the people in her chat were mad, but you can't really gauge that with text. Because uh, my specific phrasing... I mean, I said that, and then after that, I said... Um, like, several people said that beans are very good. Uh, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, mm -hmm. and then um, she had somebody on call, on a call with her, like on Discord, and uh, he said somebody in chat's talking shit about baked beans, and I'm just not even gonna address that. <laughs> and uh, and I was like, you know, look, grape jam is vile, baked beans are vile. I'm sorry. And then somebody told me I was vile, <laughs> which I'll take that. I mean, I, I'm not above criticism. I'm just saying. That baked beans fucking are terrible, and you shouldn't eat them for any meal, much less the wet, sloppy baked beans out of a can that people in England eat on their soggy-ass morning bread. I'm just saying, like, you gotta you know, start streamer beef. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, like, you know, at one point in time, your little island owned 90% um, of the fucking globe, and you, that's all you can fucking muster is beans on bread. I'm not even going to call it toast, because it's not fucking toasted anymore if you cover it in beans, okay? If you toast a piece of bread, and then you just pour liquid all over it, it's well, not I, fucking toasted anymore. I don't think that's true. Explain! Why is that not true? You're saying, like, if I cooked food and then poured water on it or put a sauce on it, that it's not cooked anymore. No, no, I'm saying it's not toasted anymore. You have put it in a toaster or a toaster oven and toasted it. Okay, if I paint a wall red and then I paint it black, what color is it? Depends on how hard you went with the black. I mean, I, I painted it well. It depends on how hard you go with the beans. <laughs> okay, if I, if I make a piece of toast and I put jam on it, a, a thin, respectable... So if you put... Okay, I'm going to take Colin's example here. If you put jelly on toast, is it not toast anymore? I'm getting to that. <laughs> If you put a respectable and responsible amount of jam on a piece of toast, that's toast with jam. If you take an entire jar of jam and pour it all over the toast and let it fucking sit there all sopping fucking wet while you eat your fucking bangers and mash or whatever, it's not toast anymore. It's soggy, wet-ass fucking bread. <laughs> J-Mac argues that toasting is cooking. Putting beans on toast does not uncook the toast. It doesn't unbake the bread. I'm just saying that that toast implies a level of crispness and Maillard flavor has been imparted onto that bread. And I think you are eradicating that by introducing a, a certain amount of liquid, which the beans in, in the British ratio is, is guilty of. Colin also asked, what if uh, you put the jam on the toast and then wait an hour? I mean, I'm going to say that it's probably not toast anymore. It's probably just old wet bread. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to ruin what your toasting did to it. But then again, I mean, again, you got to use a respectable amount. So He also wants you to define respectable. Um, enough that it doesn't untoast it. <laughs> so, like, I'm also going to say that with, with, the, with the jam thing, you know, you are you should be putting, like, a, a, a thin layer. You should not be putting more jam than bread, ever, right? I would love to see a piece of <laughs> I'm just 
just saying that when you see when you see the traditional beans on toast, I mean it's a lot of beans piled on a piece of toast, and it's coming off the sides. It's not a little bit in the middle. So what 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 I'm also going to posit here is that that liquid is soaking underneath the toast. So if you have jam, even if you leave that out for an hour on a piece of toast, the bottom of that toast is probably going to have a little bit of toasting left left to it, right? You know, even though the elements are going to get to it, the jam is not going to get to it. Unless it's dripping off the fucking sides. And if it's dripping off the fucking sides, you fucked it up. But with the beans, the beans are dripping off the side. And it's like, it's not toast at that point within seconds, is my point. It's just sad wet bread. You think I could show the bangers and mash dildo on Twitch? I don't know. <laughs> we'll post it in the Discord at least. point we're not talking about like look we're not talking about a chemical change that makes something something different like when you when you put when you put flour and yeast and water at the very least through the chemical process of 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 mixing combining leavening baking etc I mean, you are chemically altering it to a point that it is it is chemically different. You know, you can't turn that back into its its base components, right? All you're doing with toasting is making is you're furthering that process a little more. You're just you're just baking it a little further. That's all you're doing. So you're not you're not making. I would say that toast is not a thing. So let's just say that. Like to oh my god. Toast? I feel like all you're doing is misconstruing the word toast for crispy. That's what I'm saying everybody's doing. Everybody's saying, like, I, t I toasted bread. I made toast. Well, no, you didn't make toast. You made toasted bread. And there's a shorthand that we use for it where we say we made toast. But what we did... <laughs> Exactly. Is we made toasted bread. You know, J-Mac has a point about fuck toast, and it's that if you put ice cream on toast, it's not toast anymore. No, you don't put ice cream on toast. You put ice cream on the bread, and then you put it in the oven. And it, it, it it's like a, it's like French toast. You know, it's there's a, a level of uh, of of you get that. Uh, what, what do you what do you call that ice cream shit that you use to make ice cream? Um, cream on glace. Like you you've got like that custardy milky shit soaked into the bread. We have lost a viewer during this. <laughs> good. Good. We don't need it if they if they have a problem with the what I'm the truth that I'm speaking right now. The toast truth. Why are these people in here fucking defending the British like this? <laughs> That's what I wanna know. We fought a whole fucking war so we don't have to take this shit. Oh yeah, Colin makes the point that we did fight two. We just lost one, so we don't talk about it. Are we talking about the War of 1812? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We won the one that mattered. <laughs> okay, I, I still I still don't know what to do after... Yeah, this whole t toast fiasco has been a distraction from the fact that you just don't know what to do in this game again. Yeah. What is that? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> There's a gargoyle. Okay, fuck. There's a gargoyle inside. You can't go alone. Okay. There's a Wong Kyle inside. A <laughs> Wong Kyle. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do.
I mean, I think that's what their point was, Colin, was that toast isn't a thing. It is just crispiness. Yeah, yeah. Like, toast so, is just a descriptor of the crispiness, or not even the crispiness, really, but the level of bakedness your bread is. So they're using untoasted as uncrispy. Yeah. I, 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 I am saying that you are undoing the crispiness that your toasting has done when you soak it in beans. So the juice. next time you're you're at Subway, God forbid, and they ask, do you want it toasted? Say, no, I want it crisped. And I think they're allowed to murder you with a bread knife at that point. It'd be kind of fucking sick to get stabbed to death by a Subway employee. That'd be a pretty fucking hard way to go. Now, in all honesty, speaking completely honestly, British full breakfast looked fucking delicious. And, like, I would even eat the beans on toast. I bet it's pretty good with everything else going on there. Like, you got, like, the, uh, the sausages and the mushrooms and the tomatoes and uh, all that shit. I bet that's fucking delicious. Just, just a really fucking greasy breakfast. Uh -huh. You sat over here last night, and now my side of the couch squeaks. Yeah. I don't know, the couch is just really creaky. It's terrible. Yeah, I hate it. I don't know. Man, what are we doing in this game? Like, every, it's, it's like one step forward and six steps back every time we play. I guess these stairs are just inaccessible. Ah, <laughs> gross. damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it also consumes a lot of MP, but I'm right by this fountain, so I can just restore it all. There's gotta be something here that I'm just missing, and I don't know what it is.
Yeah, like with this fixed angled shit, there's always spaces that it looks like it just doesn't allow you to go to for some reason. Yeah. Oh my god, we're doing this shit again. Up the fucking stairs. Like it's saying you need to replace the sword, or... No, it's saying that something won't allow it to be removed. But, I mean, I've got the crown, and I feel like the crown is supposed to go on this. Yeah, you, like you said, it just automatically pulls quest items from your inventory. I mean, if you go to the other statues, can you replace those items? No, no. Okay. When I go back to the statues now, it just says, you know, this item has been placed on this statue. And that's all it says. I can't walk over there to that window or anything. Yeah, it looks like there's a slight raise in the ground that you can't get over. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't fucking know. I have no idea. Alright, I'm going to go back to the first area, because there's like a little pavilion in the middle of the area that I, I thought I inspected, but maybe I didn't. But other than that, I have no fucking clue what I'm supposed to do. Let me just run from this guy. You weren't able to run away, because this dude's clearly going to be able to catch me with his one-legged, one-space hop. in the catacombs oh. when she was playing earlier. Yeah, if anybody here doesn't follow, uh, I think it's Ariana underscore Albatross. You should follow her. She plays Dark Souls. She's very cool. Yeah, Tira said she had been on a break, so I guess she's back from that. Oh. Yeah, she had said that she was a little rusty, so I, I guess it has been a minute since she streamed. <clears throat> but she got to go see Nido. In the catacombs. Mm -hmm. Like, not to fight him, but she went to uh, see him about his covenant. That area fucking sucks so bad. Yeah. I guess it would be over here where this other statue is that I just completely bypassed. It's probably where I'm supposed to go. You think? Mm, you could try it. Fuck. Yes. God damn it. I'm so stupid. Not stupid. Fixed angles fuck you up. Like you swear up and down, you walk somewhere, and then you just happen to step one pixel to the left, and it's like, oh hey, there's an area here. Got me all fucked up on bean talk. Maybe I can go get the sword now. Hmm. Okay, still can't take that. Like, she wants to stand there and look at it for a second after you exit the dialogue. 
his Did fucking beard. Did you check that door behind that water? No, I think that's probably what it opened, but let me check this just in, just in case. Is anything today? No. You. You've been listening to podcasts while you shower. Yeah. So I can hear them. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> but I feel like you've been listening because you've I been. Have. <laughs> okay. So like you you've been listening to a particular horror movie podcast. But why have you been listening to the one episode about the 2018 Halloween film for like three weeks now? I finished it. I started on Halloween Kills. Uh, oh, some point this week. okay, okay. I guess I didn't realize you had gotten gotten to the next one because they were still talking about Halloween 2018 okay. when I heard it this afternoon. Well, I mean, you kind of have to talk about both if you're going to talk. No, about I understand both. that. It's just like they were talking about the Rob Zombie Halloween and stuff, and it just sounded like they were only discussing the first film. So. It's like the, their format, they talk about, you know, uh, a sort of overall shit, and then they go through the plot, and they haven't even gotten to the plot uh, yet. Yeah. They're just talking about, uh... Like, I, I could just barely hear them in the back uh -huh. while you were in the bathroom, but, like, uh... I was already, like, getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> about their about their opinions. I mean, Halloween Kills is not good. It's not good, but they weren't talking about Halloween Kills. They were talking about Halloween 2018. And... Yeah, like... I feel like that movie is judged too harshly sometimes. Like, I... I just... I have no real opinion about 2018. Yeah. Like, a lot of people hate it, and a lot of people love it, and I feel like it did get overhyped. But then if a lot of people want to tear it, like to pieces over that and it's like it it's fine yeah. it's a horror movie like i mean i think it's dumb for the franchise to go actually no disregard all the other movies before us like i definitely agree with that but then like people get like really Man, granular we... about their problems with it and it's like it's a silly movie about a man who puts on a jumpsuit and a mask and stabs folks do you really care that much <laughs> it ain't that deep there's a guillotine in here hell yeah uh that i can't inspect i guess i don't know what that's about don't worry about it <laughs> You see dried spots of blood here. Here and there! Here and there! Here and there! There's some dried spots of blood! What the fuck? There's blood everywhere! You'll notice that's red. It's not dried. That's ketchup. Oh. Um, there is shit everywhere. What are James and Edward doing while I'm doing this? Are they just, like... Arguing. Touching tubes in there or something? <laughs> like, what the fuck? There are countless blood stains splattered everywhere. Uh -oh. oh shit. Whack. What a beautiful sunset. Bring our boat, boys. Quickly. Don't be unreasonable! We can't handle that many passengers! The sky is getting dark! The draft! The draft! We're sinking! Bessie! Bessie! The meat is burning! It's burning! No! It's not working! No! Hey! Hey! Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, you! No! No! We're sinking! Wait! My, my boat! My boat! My boat. My boat. I don't know what you're referencing. Water world. Uh oh. 
A real break? These ruffians! You harlot! Strumpet! Have you no shame? Strumpet! Oh, if only Elaine had been saved, we wouldn't be in this mess. Elaine? Ah, uh, yes. She was merciful. She was benevolent. She believed me, and she was fond of my paintings. Your paintings? The it wasn't fault? my fault! All of a sudden, there was a coal ship out of nowhere. It was dark. What could we do? It sank so fast. I was faultless. Elaine. Poor, poor Elaine. If only I'd stayed with her. Hey, you! You! Hey! How's that? Just a lamp? You will make you just a lamp? You're crazy! Shut up! This dude's been the best voice actor in the whole game. Oh shit. Honey, let's stop this now. It's time to stop. It's okay. It's over. I'm sorry. My husband. A long time ago. He was the captain of a big pleasure boat. It was a gorgeous boat. He was so proud of it. But then there was the accident. So many people died. Everyone blamed my husband. It was so difficult for him. So he started drinking heavily. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? No matter how much you drink, you can't forget such a tragedy. But he met Elaine. She believed he was innocent. She helped him carry on. This Elaine, she's dead? Yes. Why is it that good people seem to die so early? What a waste. While Elaine's husband Patrick was traveling, a robber broke into their house. My husband has always said, if only I had been there for her. We should stop this conversation now. My husband is waiting. Oh shit! He be so impatient, you know? This game just has these plot threads that are just every fucking where. There's something about Bessie's body that bothers you. You see something blue shining in Bessie's bosom. All right. <laughs> you got the blue key. All right. So glad. Um. Colin's like, I wasn't looking. Who shot who? Um, well, a guy tied me to a table and tried to chop my head off because he was mad about his boat sinking. <laughs> <laughs> and then his wife shot him and then shot herself after freeing me. And then I reached... No, she didn't free you. She handed you a well, knife. Well, yeah. And then I reached into her brassiere and pulled out a key uh, well, after and she was dead. And took the gun that she shot herself with. And took the gun she shot herself with. Yeah. We're getting weird here. Just have a big blood stained battlefield now. Yeah. So, like, was that the couple from the beginning, or was that... I think that was a totally different okay. couple. I'm really not... I'm not 100% on that. They're just murderous couples that live in this mansion. Yeah, just, it's just full of geriatric psychopaths. I, I don't know. Pretty soon that's what we're going to be calling the insane clown posse. <laughs> I feel like you can call them that now. <laughs> Oh, look, this is that door from in the basement that we couldn't get into earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
He found bottle of blood. Oh, I can open this door now. If you dump all the blood out, you can go get acid I, in that bottle. I bet that's what it's for. Thank God. I was so worried. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I feel like in the 10 minutes that I've been without these guys, they would have just gone total fucking Lord of the Flies on each other. Luckily, I went down the side hallway. Walls caved in. We can't get back to the sanctuary. I figured if you'd escaped from the garden, you'd be here. Thank God I took the underpass. It's no use. This door won't open. Damn it. Is there another way out? Aren't you underneath the arbor? There is. There is another door across from the cathedral. The cathedral, that's right. There's got to be another way out. A secret passage or something. Secret passage? Okay, let's split up. Kadelka, start from that door. We'll go along the wall. Find a place to regroup, clear? Got it. Kadelka. Yeah? Don't get killed. Same to you. You agree to meet Edward and James in the library. Alright, we can save here, so we will save. I guess. See how this shit goes. Whoa! Look at this motherfucker! Well. <laughs> Fuck hands, big Mike! Oh! oh. <laughs> this guy's funny. <laughs> Look at his little chicken legs. Yeah, he's got little chicken legs. This guy's just a mess.
Is he on his last leg here? He keeps looking at the ground. I don't know. is OP now. So I guess there's like two exits to this room. I'm looking at that right. Okay, I think the I think this one just goes into a smaller room. You can't get the door open no matter how hard you try, okay? You see a statue of a woman. The words, when the goddess bleeds, then shall she fall, are inscribed. Do you want to use the bottle of blood? Yeah. Does that leave a passage? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just walk straight through it. Oh, this is that plant. Uh, hang on. i got to mute the mic for a second. All right, sorry about that. <clears throat> um, okay, so we got a plant. It looks like it's surrounded by organs and jars. Whoa, it's a creature of some kind. <laughs> it says, that woman wrote many letters for children, but never delivered. What? <clears throat> okay, sure. Gotcha.
Are we doing anything this weekend? Should we do another Saturday stream? It's up to you. Would you be interested in it? I really don't mind either way. I guess I can play more Tunic. We should presumably be able to do it a little earlier, since we don't have to go anywhere. I got a J ring, a jack off ring. Mm -hmm. Underground corridor. Could save there too if you wanted to. Yeah, that ring I got is is better what I had. Sorry, I just need to keep checking the map because the doors are so hard to see yeah. sometimes. But yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Are we going down to a lower basement from here? Should I get rid of the rifle? I wouldn't. Well, I mean, like running out of space. Well, I mean, I've got a rifle, and then I've got the rifle RD. So I think it, I think it just has a smaller uh, ammunition load, like a smaller clip. Uh huh. But it must do, it must do more damage. I don't know. Yeah, but if you use up the rifle, well. Can you use up guns like you can melee weapons? Oh, I don't think so. I don't know. I guess that's a good point. I mean, if you can, then you might want to do that so you get the points in rifle, so you're better with it. Yeah, I guess. You use the higher level one, but... I guess you're right. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me that... I mean, it doesn't really make sense to me that any of the shit would break unless it's, like, wood, but, you know. Yeah. I'm in a little graveyard. Oh, look. Got the other doll. Is this her grave? Oh, this is St. Daniel's grave. We have Daniel's arm. Mm -hmm. You want to pray, yes. You feel the presence of someone behind you, a presence you felt before. Judgment Day is near. The cacophonous sound of seven bugles will consume the heavens, and all sinners will burn in the fiery wrath of the Lord. Uh, but I, no, I will not die. Mm -hmm. Death knows no boundaries. It is an integral part of each and every life. Death is ultimately an act of grace and love from the Lord. <laughs> oh, a blessing, is it not? <laughs> oh, Daniel Scotius Eregina, blameless soul. That man has not a heart to be found in his body. Though I do thank him for building the monastery here. And you are? Where are my manners? <laughs> Hello. My name is Raja Bacon. I am a oh, monk shit. from the Franciscan order. A monk? And I thought you were a mummy. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> you are quite right in your assessment of me. Sun-dried kippers may be more pleasant to look at than dull. My shriveled up appearance. There was a time when I was hailed as the foremost warlock. But my profession seems to go in and out of fashion with the passage of time. Can't do much about that, can I? You are a strange man. <laughs> That's if you can be called a man. I have given up being a man many hundreds of years ago. I am no longer a person. Though I hesitate to ask questions regarding <laughs> my existence because I have yet to figure out exactly what I am. That's fine. It's not that I need to know anyway. But tell me, why were you sleeping in such a strange place? I'd never been able to awake in a good mood. <laughs> and I just planned to rest for a while. What year is it anyway? Are we still on the Gregorian calendar? Are you trying to fool me or are you being serious? Of course I'm being serious. The clock I own was too big for the coffin. It's 1898. Lord have mercy. I've been asleep for close to a hundred years. Well, I guess there are some things that still surprise you. Watch out. When life begins to lack the element of surprise, that's when you are walking down the path to the Lord. <laughs> anyway, as a token of my appreciation, I'm going to keep the metal gate unlocked for you. Go through the gate. <laughs> Why would you do this for me? Well, it seems to me that your friends are running amok inside the monastery grounds. They're making so much noise. Would you mind telling them to... Keep it quiet, huh? Hmm? <laughs> I think Roger Bacon is a recurring character in these games, in the Shadow Heart series. Mm -hmm. And obviously, he's also a, you know, historical figure, like a, an alchemist. Right? And Roger Bacon, an alchemist. Where did I make that up? I don't know. He's a character in that John Belair's book. Oh, he is. You're right. Yeah, but I'm fairly sure that that's, you know, he's named after the alchemist. I'm like, the name is certainly familiar, but that's why. Yeah. yeah. Colin says, oh shit, it's my ancestor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Roger Bacon's like a, a real, a real dude. Was he the one who was asleep in that coffin in that other room? Or was that a different dead dude? Because I think it said something about Roger Bacon in that area. Yeah, it, it probably was him then. I missed some of the dialogue in there because I accidentally, accidentally clicked through it. So yeah, it, it may have been him. Jesus Christ. Bird picked the shit out of me. Sorry. Sneezed. Oh. I'm a little confused by this area I'm in. So I came up there, then I just need to go up this stairway that he opened for me. Okay. 
that makes sense. Eh. Alright, cool. So now I'm back in the triangular hallway. And I should just get stuck on these rocks. Oh, I can't remember which area the library's in, but it's... I think it might actually be back here. It's past that puzzle. I think it's in this next room over here, like before you get to the church. Yeah, library. Library. So this is where I'm supposed to meet James and Edward. Okay. Kadoka. Edward. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. That's not completely the case. I have some bad news for you. I saw the caretakers, both the husband and wife. Oh, I guess it was them. Really? Where were they? They're dead. How is that bad news? They tried to kill us. Apparently they were the ones responsible for killing all the thieves and desperados that were sneaking into the monastery. And with good reason. I don't know. I don't believe You should know very well what has been going on. Ogden was trying to avenge the death of Elaine. Death? Of Elaine? I don't believe it. This is preposterous. Who is Elaine? I have no idea. All I know is Elaine's spirit called me to this place. Tell me. Who is Elaine? And Patrick. The caretakers told me that robbers broke into Elaine's home while Patrick was away and murdered her. Elaine was a benefactor for the caretakers. They took it upon themselves to murder every single robber and desperado that entered their grounds. It was a form of revenge for them. I'm originally from Ireland, you see. Although small, my family had a successful business and was soon able to send me to school, which I loved from a very early age. I was soon accepted to a prestigious university in England. And with my parents' assistance, I made my way across the ocean. I met Patrick at university. We were both studying chemistry and embarking upon similar paths. About that same time, I began competing for the love of a beautiful woman, Elaine, and we had a falling out. I loved Elaine with all my heart. Omnia Winston to more. But love does not conquer all. I soon discovered that I lacked the social status and inheritance money necessary to properly care for someone so well-bred and sheltered as Elaine. I think it might be your vile personality. <laughs> be honest with you, James. I gave up my suit and made way for Patrick. To ease my pain, I joined the church and left the secular world behind. And being the perfectionist I am, the Vatican made me a bishop in charge of some very important matters. But it's been so hard to distance myself from one's emotional attachments. Although I have not <laughs> this seen incel them motherfucker. Years, <laughs> I wish them all the best in their life. I hate together. this dude. And if it hadn't been for this, I wouldn't have thought twice about seeing Patrick again. That's right, Patrick. How, how can this be? He promised me he was going to take care of Elaine and make her happy. What could have happened? Being a witness to the gory aftermath. I have a hard time believing the caretakers were acting on revenge alone. Believe me, it was an unimaginably heinous sight. And what about these monsters that keep appearing? No, there's a bigger secret we have yet to uncover. This is the key to Patrick's mansion. Shall we go?
<clears throat> Are these like three mansions just on top of each other? Yes. I mean, it's like two mansions in a cathedral, I guess. I I don't like what where is Patrick's mansion? I don't I don't know. I feel like I should go Back to the dolls. Back to the dolls, yeah. For the girls, you have the dolls. Yeah. I think I'll do that. Do you still have that bottle? Like, do you have an empty uh, bottle? I don't think so, but let me look. I, I might. Uh, no. Okay. We gotta figure out how to get back to the basement, I guess. And I guess you have to fight that gargoyle eventually. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have to go fight that too. Do a lot of backtracking to get to the basement, I think. Like, I haven't been upping anybody's dexterity that much. Or dexterity or the other thing. Because, like, I just don't seem to be missing a lot unless it's supposed to be missed, you know? Does that make sense? Yeah. I love the repetitive creaking on this mm -hmm. landing. Sounds like baby alligators. Yes. Thank you. 
healed up, we're saved, we are en route to the basement to see what will happen. Was a lot of damage. It really, really was. Yeah, her attacks are pretty, pretty crazy right now. <clears throat> hey, Greg. Greg, how are you, Greg? Hello again for the second time today, Greg. I saw you earlier. How's that foot doing, Greg? He says, okay, and says once again, foot is fractured. <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently his sprain turned out to be a yeah. fucking fracture. Very lame. Very not cool. you have a ton of glass bottles from your listles and your potions I don't yeah. know, and whiskey so I don't know why yeah, you can't just fill it. them with uh give us back our dolls yes give them their dolls they stop moving and you get the green key. All right, and that opens this door. You throw away the green key. Oh, is that literally just a shortcut to this cell? Or wait, is this a different area? This might be something totally different. It's a different color. Oh yeah, Greg said that uh, he's determined not to let the boot keep him from uh, going to the DS show in Wooster. Oh, Wooster. Or chest desire. Old clubfoot Greg hobbling up to the venue. With his cane sword in tow. 
ready to start some shit in the pit. Dude, when we used to go to concerts regularly, there was a dude who had a cane, and he was always up front. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, leaning up against the speakers like us. Yeah. Yeah, he was like an old dude, and he'd hobble up. Like, we're talking like death metal shows. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, he'd fucking hobble up there with his cane. Right, this is not the cell that you fall down into because there weren't stairs in that cell. It was also full of bodies. Yeah, you're right. Charlotte's cell, first floor. Okay. There's still food on the table. So this game just keeps throwing names at you. You hear a young girl laughing softly. Suddenly, the furniture in the room starts to vibrate, and space itself begins to twist. I wonder if this was totally optional. Yeah, I wonder if this is going to be a very difficult boss. Oh, it's just chairs. Never mind. Hitting pretty hard. Chairs have a lot of health. If you keep this up, you're the only one that's going to get hurt. I'm not fooling around. I don't want your pity. I have enough. Charlotte, listen to me. I understand you. We're very similar, you know. You could never understand me. How could you? I've never been out of this place. I was born and I was executed. On the day I was killed, a priest came to me and said, Dear Lord, please accept into your glorious kingdom this poor, sinful land. Tell me, what did I do that was so bad? Is it my fault that I was born? If I was born just to be killed, why did she have me? Oh, I just... <clears throat> my mother abandoned me, too. I've been alone ever since I was a little girl, just like you. That's why... That's why what? 
That's why you understand me. That's why you're like me. Don't make me laugh. You're not like me. You're alive. What do you mean you're alone? What do you mean you understand? Give me a break. Oh, Charlotte, I'm so sorry. I want you to understand. I really... Curse upon you. What? A curse upon you. Charlotte. On you, on your friends, a curse upon you all. I will kill everything. Why don't you just die? Die! When everything is dead and gone, then it will be the same. Only then will you understand my pain. I know what it is to regret being born. I will kill you! Kill you! Kill you! Charlotte's making some good points here. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know. <clears throat> Hello, Rad. I don't disagree with her. Uh, Rad says, I wish this game was faster. It has good everything except the combat system. Hey, hey, hey. Can we uh, look at this fucking monster design right here? <laughs> Holy shit. I actually don't mind the combat system. I totally get what you're saying, but I, I don't mind it being unex un unex uh, well, inexplicably chill. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know why it's so, like, low-key, low but it is. That's just a big, sick dog. Yeah, it looks just like a dog, you're right. Alright, time to punch it in the fucking mouth. Ah. <laughs> it worked. It actually reminds me of, uh, Sepulcher from... Silent Hill Homecoming. I mean, it reminds me of the baby from Village. I guess, yeah. Well, welcome to the chat, by the way. They're saying that the map movement system doesn't really add anything for them, though, which it was just turn-based. Uh, I'll agree with that. I, I'm not... Like, this is not tactical enough to be, like, a tactical RPG, so it's kind of pointless. That's absolutely true. Yeah, like, I mean, I see what it does in the fight, but I don't really see where that benefits you any, because it's not like you can flank enemies and do more damage. Right. And, like, it does that you can't get past the monster shit, but it seems to arbitrarily do it. Like, sometimes it triggers it and sometimes it doesn't, you know? No, like, when you, you're trying you... to res enemies, or res uh, your Oh, party. yeah, I don't, I still don't understand that mechanic. Because, like, I understand you can't walk past the enemies. Yeah. But, yeah, sometimes, like, I try to res somebody or heal somebody and it's like, you can't get past the enemy and it does it anyway. And I don't know what it's trying to convey to me. Also, this thing looks like a bacon-wrapped sausage. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Smack. Ooh, it's very wet. He also just did seven, almost 800 Yeah, damage. we're gonna have to heal Edward here. Uh, I suppose. Yes, here it's wet. Wet, moist. <laughs> what? Wet meat sounds. Wet meat sounds. Meaty, meaty fucking wax is what we're talking about here. Oh, don't do it again. Yeah. yeah you just stay right there. Let's do a high potion on Edward. There we go. Much better. 
peanut butter! <laughs> This is probably my favorite uh, boss design so far. It's disgusting and horrific. It is pretty good. I do like the weird, like, quadrupedal reaper thing you fought early on. Yeah, I mean, I've liked a lot of them, but this is, this is definitely the most, like, horrific, I think. Oh, it's dead already, shit. So is this little girl ghost going to manifest something else? Oh, I think that was her. Oh, she just turned into that? Yeah, I think that was her, man. Like... Ah, oh, my alarm's going off. Ooh, the star brooch. So it might be better served than somebody else. Thank you, Greg. The toast was indeed fucked on this day. It looks like there's nothing useful here. Yeah, I think this may just be an extra area, to be honest with you. Like, to get that one... Potion. <laughs> Potion? Did you get something else here? I got, I got that star brooch. Oh. For, for fighting her. I think that's probably, I think it's just probably just an extra area you can go back to and get, like, a high level. Oh, wait. Here's the blue... Okay, never mind. I guess you had to come back here to get to the blue blue key door. So we still don't know what the acid is for. No, we still haven't been able to even get the acid. Um. So where are we now? Hang on. So this should be Patrick's mansion, right? I believe so. Uh, fuck, fuck. I don't want to look at the formation. I want to look at the fucking map. Um, 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 uh, it's a different area. Uh, but I thought I'd been here, but maybe not. No, no, I, no, I take that back. I hadn't been here. So, yeah, this was... This is uh, that room. Like, if I go this way... I unlock this bolt, and it takes me back to uh, okay. this area. Okay, okay. Okay, so we've actually opened a lot of, like, shortcut kind of areas now. We are on the third disc, so it might be a lot of running back and forth it at this point. very well could be, because, like, we know that there's stuff like the acid that we haven't acquired yet. Shotgun shells... Okay, I'm not going to progress through this area at all. I'm going to save this for next time, because this is like going to be a whole thing, I believe. Yeah, um, I mean, you've been going for two hours. It's been two, about hours. two hours, and I'm sleepy, because I'm a stupid bastard. Um, so yeah, I'm going to call it there, and you're the old save state, just because. Um, so that will be it for tonight. Oh, what's is it Wednesday? Yes. Or my days are off because we streamed yesterday instead of Monday.
So we'll be back, not tomorrow, but Friday, Friday with Megami Tensei. And yeah, I think I'll try to play some more Tunic on Saturday. Unless you want to play something at any point. No, I I'm I still gotta pick something to actually start on Mondays. On Monday, yeah. Well, think about it. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, thanks everybody. We will see you soon. Goodbye.